It's so good to see you guys. I don't want to set the bar too high, but the last time I caught up with Zendaya, yet another meme was born. Yet another ah. brilliant. Uh, uh, yeah. Mark Ruffalo appreciated it, so that's the badge of honor. <laughs> it's a great meme. It worked for so many things. What a good moment. <laughs> okay, so this is obviously the most secretive, most anticipated film of the year, but you guys are no stranger to this kind of thing. Take me back in the last couple Spider-Man films or even through the Avengers films, what's like the one secret that was a struggle for you guys to keep under wraps? Was it going all the way back for you, Zendaya, saying that, you know, you were in fact playing MJ? Was it Spidey mm -hmm. dying? Was there something in particular? That was an annoying one, mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> because right. unless you know why my character is MJ, there's really no huge reason for me to be in the movie. Mm. Right. And I was doing a lot That's of- That's a good point, actually. Yeah. And I was doing yeah. a lot of press for it, which was weird. Right. They cast Zendaya to play Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Did nobody tell them about MJ? A, what yeah. a random I'm not thing. this mysterious yeah, right. classmate. Yeah. So going on the press tour was like, how was it? I was like, I don't know. I wasn't there very long. <laughs> <laughs> and who do you play, Michelle? <laughs> it just was say. useless. I was, so, uh, I was just like, yep, it was fun. Yeah. I just came along. You did well, though. Yeah. I think Thanks. for me, one of the hardest things to keep a secret was the fact that Jake's character was bad. Yeah. But the yeah. only reason it was difficult was because we were just bold faced lying. To yeah. Everyone, right? You like, were. We were. You we really were. Telling were. people that, like, he's not a villain, he's the hero of the story, he's stepping up, it's a new take on the character. Yeah. I lied so much that I believed that Jake was a, a hero. And when I saw the film, I was like, ah, what happened? A bad but... person. Yeah, we were talking about it that Jake obviously has a reputation for being somewhat of a method actor or has been in the past. So when we were on set of Spider-Man, I got really worried that he was just being my friend because he's a method actor. Just, and then at some point he was gonna switch. And like be yeah. a total dick to Just be awful. <laughs> right, as soon as the film's yeah. over, the eyes go dead, he just walks right. away. That's yeah, it. I did it with him yesterday and he, oh, was, he was very friendly. So for sure, oh. absolutely. He's still, a, he's he's still, still the He's still just committed to the DVD Blu-ray release now. He's yeah, just yeah. still in character. Yeah. <laughs> it's still going. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell when each other is annoyed? Is there a tell? Yes. Yes. You know? yes. What is it? What do you see yes. in each other's <laughs> eyes? <laughs> she is. <laughs> 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 it's okay. He's just trying to do an interview. That is great stuff. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah, I think we're doing good. this? I'm going to try to stir the pot a little bit. I know there are at least nice. two of you are huge Harry Potter fans. Who's the biggest Harry Potter fan on that couch right now? Probably well, you. Probably, yeah, probably you for sure. Oh, I feel really? like super duper diehard for sure, yeah. but I feel like, yeah, you too. I love Harry Potter. We well, all love Harry Potter. I think it's a sure. genius. Yeah. My when I did this, I meant it's an umbrella. <laughs> we are all under that umbrella. But I think you definitely have the most knowledge. For sure. Yeah, but saying that, I went to a pub quiz the other day to do a Harry Potter pub quiz, and we all like, there was like eight of us went, we had it in the diary, we were all super excited, and it was the most difficult quiz I've ever done. I, I feel like they'll ask questions more from the books too, not just from the movies. But that's right? the thing, like, yeah. I read the books, but one yeah. of the questions was like, who was the referee in the 1964 quiz? <laughs> <laughs> And you call yourself a fan? You don't know that? What? Yeah. Right. No. I, embarrassing. I was yeah. very embarrassed. My girlfriend likes to play like the theme song while she's like cleaning up. Oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Flying around on a broomstick <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Tom and Zenday, you've spent a fair amount of these films uh, swinging around um, yes. on webs. Tom, you have to look cool. Zendaya, you are free to look terrified. Is it harder to play it cool or is it harder to summon your inner terror? <laughs> Contrary to my laughing face, <laughs> when I am frightened, I don't really react, okay? I laugh big, this right. we know, mm -hmm. um, thanks no, to the yeah. internet. That's a good one. Uh, That's a good way to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to like, being frightened, I'm not like a, I don't go, ah, you know, I don't really have a reaction like that. Right, you do. I'm more of a like, pretty, I'm like, oh, right. you got me, you know, whatever. And then when dealing with things like, per se, jumping off of a high thing with Spider-Man, mm. my natural thing is just like, let it take me. <laughs> let it take me. But uh, you see, MJ is not a huge fan of the swinging thing. <laughs> so I then have to like, make I myself yeah. like be like, ah, which wouldn't naturally be what I do. Right. So yeah, I really got to yeah. push it. I don't scream. I don't really. You don't at I don't all. really yell. You don't person. yell. You're very 
quiet sure. and zen, yeah. Yeah, zen true. day. Right. Oh. The screams are on the inside. When I was doing mine, I was definitely screaming my ass off. Like, I was definitely like, <laughs> I was, when I was falling up with stuff, I was definitely like, what the f and so it was really crazy. A couple of years ago when I sat down with Zendaya and Jacob, uh, Zendaya, you talked about your terror at Tom's potentially throwing up in his Spider-Man mask and yeah. expiring. Yeah. And it seemed like a legitimate thing that has been plaguing you to the point where you retweeted me again two years yes. later saying you're still thinking about this. And I feel like people are like, what made you think of that? I feel like it's just like a really obvious thing. Yeah. And it is actually a genuine concern. Mm. So has this idea now been seeded into your head, Tom? Was this not a concern? And is this now a concern? You don't Zendaya care, has which yeah. is crazy to me. You're just like, ah. I'm like, yeah. you could drown in your own vomit. I just think, I know right. if it happened, I would, I know what I would do. It wouldn't work. I'm the sorry. What would you do? The only thing work. is that would be scary is sometimes because of the gloves, I can't pop the eyes out. So I'd have to ask someone, can you pop the eyes out? And then I would grab the eye trays and just rip the suit. Yeah, but as you're yeah, throwing up. Yeah, you're not going to be able to tell somebody that. You're going to drown in your vomit. That's bro. not yeah. happening. There's no way. Well, what a way to go. <laughs> it's just, what a way to go. No. no. I knew they did drown in the suit in the first one, though. Yeah. Like, I was doing the scene and where I was crushed you under the concrete. That. You weren't in yeah. that suit then. I was in the homecoming suit. Mm -hmm. The main, the homemade, no, homemade suit. suit. Homemade suit. Yeah. In the scene where so I'm crushed under the that. concrete, I was laying face down, and I was really, like, stuck under that thing. Like, they would lower it down, and then they would let me struggle, let me struggle, let me struggle, and I would try and push it, but couldn't move it. It was too heavy, and then... When Spider-Man was supposed to then be doing the heroic stuff, they would help me lift it. But when I was face down, there was a like a pipe that was supposed to have burst that was dropping on the back of my head. And obviously in the mask, as it got wet, the water just kind of built up in the front. Right. Um, and I was kind of like waterboarding myself. So I, I had to rip the mask off. And that's not even the real um, suit. Mm. And that's the homemade <laughs> suit. It's going to be a lot of years in therapy yeah. after your Spider-Man days are done to deal with all the trauma you've been through. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying. <laughs> Starting today. Okay, so like part of the aspect of this new one is obviously the world finding out that Spider-Man is Peter Parker, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. If you had a friend in your life that you just suddenly found out, oh, by the way, I'm a superhero, how would you feel about that? Like kind of betrayed. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, now? So everyone else finds out before me? That's up. I'd be jealous. <laughs> I'd be like, I can't be friends with you anymore because I want to be a superhero so bad. And Where's the spider? Let, me, let the spider bite me. Yeah, let the spider bite me. Yeah. No, no, no. I'd be like, you also have to remember that maybe the reason they haven't told you is that they're trying to, to protect, protect you. you. Right, so yeah, you yeah, say, right. thank you for protecting me. Absolutely. Why did you now decide to not protect me? Put my me life in danger. Yeah, danger's. so actually, Why that's now? messed up. Yeah. Yeah. What, and I want to say, you? MJ figured it out. Mm, right, that's, right, that's true. Right, right, that's, right. That's true. That's true. That's true. So she basically knew the entire time. Just saying. Yeah, no, yeah. very true. Right. I love that scene on the bridge. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm also curious, Tom, it seems like over the years, I feel like you've become the punching bag for some of your fellow superheroes in the MCU. Yeah. Anthony Mackie just lives to tear you apart. Yeah, it's because you nothing interesting to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> you have to talk about me. I don't mind. Yeah, that's still interesting. Do you not mind? Has, he, has Anthony Mackie ever made you cry, Tom? Be no. honest. Anthony Mackie and I are very good friends. <laughs> and we really, really enjoy each other's company. He's probably one of the people that I gravitate towards most when I'm on the set of Avengers. Uh, we have a very similar sense of humor. And, you know, of all the, of most of the people on the set, Anthony was one of the most welcoming, albeit he did make a joke on the day I walked on the Civil War set that where he was like, this is my film set, don't mess around. If you mess around, you're gonna mess with me and I'll mess with you. And then he, Broke character. Yeah, scared the and we're great friends. Scared. And our kind of rivalry on camera has actually been really fun. And and I love taking the piss out of him. He's so easy to take the piss out of him. <laughs> who, who do you think you text the most out of your MCU friends, out of the fellow superheroes? Who do you think you're in contact with the most? RDJ. I speak to RDJ quite a lot. Yeah, him yeah. and I are in touch a lot. And he has been so helpful for me over the last few years with like my life changing. He's also a great friend. He's also someone that I love to just catch up with and have a laugh with. I know in lockdown, him and I spoke quite a lot. Aww. He would call and Harry and I would sit there and tell him about our day and he would tell us about his day. And yeah, yeah. I think it's of all the superheroes, easy. it would be RDJ. It's amazing. We've talked a lot about, you know, Miles Morales at some point existing in the live action universe. I'm curious, yeah. like from, for you guys, would you want to see Miles with your group as the baton has passed? Or do you feel like 
do your thing, and then eventually Miles gets. Selfishly, gets I would love to interact. Yeah, for sure. Oh, That'd Miles. be really cool. Yeah. That'd Absolutely. be really cool. I also think we have an opportunity to not do like kind of like the Bond thing where it's like there is a Spider-Man and then it's right. just there isn't a Spider-Man and then you start again. Yeah. Like we've had such a beautiful journey with the MCU. There's no reason to kind of tell a story where my Spider-Man for whatever reason has to retire and passes the baton on to, you know, the next young kid. I think that could be a really cool movie. The funny thing is that as I think of it is like we think of Spider-Man as kind of like the kid on the block in the MCU. But now there are all these like even newer folks out there, whether it's Yelena or Kate Bishop or Ms. Marvel. Are there any of those characters that you're excited to see Spidey interact with as we look forward? Yeah, I think Yelena will be very cool. That's awesome. I think that sure. would be a really fun, Absolutely. like the kind of Russian aspect of it to the mm -hmm. New Yorker kind of thing would be a very interesting dynamic. Absolutely. I think they have a lot of fun together. Jacob and Zendaya, for you guys, you've basically been in this Spider-Verse. Outside of that, in the, in the larger MCU, where would you want to pop up? Is there a place for your characters, you think, without without Peter even, just to pop up independently? Oh, oh, that's man. tough. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's tough. I feel like we're so like- What would like, MJ get up to? Yeah, that's just so interesting. Like, I feel we're like- We're so FOS. Yeah, you know? like we're like, so Team Spider-Man that I feel like it'd be weird to be in some other kind of movie. You know what I mean? Like, I would what? like to see yeah. Ned and yeah. MJ like visit Wakanda. I think yeah, that'd like, be a fun place. <clears throat> yeah, yeah for sure, because they're super high tech. Like yeah. you for and sure. Shuri. Shuri yeah, yeah, it's a good time yeah, for sure. I, I agree with that. Building things. I actually agree with that for sure. Little smart little kids. Yeah, so probably- See, I'd like to- to see MJ in a kind of daredevil setting, like being mm. an investigator, invest, in, why can't I speak? Investigator. Investigative? Investigative. Just adding one syllable. I'm just investigator. To say investigator. <laughs> investigator. But I don't know why my brain just disconnected <laughs> from my mouth there. And a detective is what I'm trying to say. Yes, right. I'd like to see MJ like right. be a detective yeah. in Hell's Kitchen, like figuring out a crime. I think that would be really cool. <laughs> When I was talking to Zendaya and Timmy about Dune, I was trying to pitch you, Tom, as Fade in the next Dune oh, film. Yeah. Could you or Jacob see yourselves with Zendaya in a different context in Dune? Dude, I'd love to fun. just be Peter and Ned in Dune. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo. What are we doing here? Like, Whoa, what's this thing in my nose? <laughs> oh, it's my snot? Whoa, yeah. I can drink my own snot? <laughs> 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 I'm getting my blue eyes out. Whoa, what's happening? Her name's not... What? <laughs> uh, Spider-Man would have trouble swinging on Arrakis, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing, yeah, there's there's nothing, nothing. to web on. Yeah. <laughs> He's like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Spider-Man, dude. Spider-doom. spider Spadoom. Now, do you guys know what happens in the second season of Euphoria, or is it like on lockdown, just like Spider-Man? I, I don't really... I, I, I've I mean, spent a lot of time yeah, visiting you know. so I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I can yeah. share some secrets. Yeah, that'd be great. I would love to know. There's some great secrets. That's how, That's cool. Sam's actually asked me like what I think, and I'm like, uh, I'm just visiting. I, just, <laughs> uh, just, uh, I don't want. I just to read the involved. lines. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so uh, one of the things I love about these films is that like, as great as the spectacle is, even three films in, really the core is you guys and the relationship between you guys. As you've gotten through these three films, are you partially surprised, frankly, that at the heart of it is still personal human stories? I mean, I feel like that was always John's point. intention. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely his point um, from, from, from the beginning. The, from the beginning yeah. is to uh, is to live with Peter Parker. And, yeah. you know, in this movie, we get a little bit more of the Spider-Man side of Peter Parker, which Absolutely. is we're always on the Peter Parker side, right. you know? Yeah. Um, we get to get to know who he is outside of our classroom. Yeah, <laughs> um, sure. And we had a lot of discussions about it, I think particularly for this movie, because it's so ambitious and there's so much going on. It's We talked about how important it is always to maintain the heart of the film which is you know uh the peter side yeah. you know the love the love that these people share for each other and how much yeah. they care about each other and have each other's back which is really why most people have their love for spider-man in general like he's the superhero that is the friendly neighborhood guy that you feel like is right. your best friend or is your you know brother or whatever and that's what makes him feel so so real mm. um so I think that that's always in mind when we step into these movies. That's the fun part also, is yeah. when we're all together and yeah. we can do those scenes together. It is fun. It's the best time. It's also fun when we like get yeah. that moment where you step out of ourselves and you're like, 
This is so ridiculous. Like, I, can't believe, I can't believe the things we're doing. Like yeah, that sure. one scene between the three of us with the box. I'm really like, what are we supposed to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what are we going to do with this box? And then you look at it, you're like, wow, we getting paid to do this. Isn't it? I like that we all swang together. Yeah, swung? I like I like swang. Yeah, swang. Swang. We swang. Yeah. Swung. Swung. Yeah. We yeah. swanged it in. Yeah. That was really fun. Yeah. In the spirit of the multiverse, looking back, can you think of like what the alternate reality would have been had you guys not gotten these roles? I mean, I think back, I remember Tom, like you weren't even the presumptive favorite. Like there was, there were other actors talked about and then out of nowhere, we got the you. alternate universe where Timothy is Spider-Man and you're Paul. And I'm Paul. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still me. <laughs> yeah, and you're still, still killing the game, winning every award under the sun. <laughs> Multiple franchises that are massively successful. I'm still I'm killing still it. Yeah. <laughs> Zendaya wins no matter what. Doesn't matter. No, I'm, I'm still killing the game. Kidding, but, um, That's you're right. not kidding. <laughs> no. Yeah, flex it. Thanks. Um, what would we be doing in an alternate universe? It'd be an interesting one. I'm very, very grateful we got placed together. For sure. I'm glad Absolutely. That, that... What a different experience it would have been with if someone we didn't different. Like yeah. yeah, and like, if, yeah, completely. Or just anyone else. Yeah, it's How just, weird. It, it would have been so off. It's for so sure. lucky that we are all such good friends. Yeah. Sure. We, I know you're just good actors. You can barely stand each other.